Hey there golfers, I'm Drew Mahold of Second Swing Golf. I'm joined by Thomas Campbell, a master club fitter here at Second Swing at Minnetonka. And today we've got a, a fun game and a, a test here for Thomas. Uh, we've got five driver shafts. They're all the Graphite Design IZ model. Uh, but we've got different weights and different shaft flex in all five of them. And I've got it covered up. And so I'm gonna kind of put Thomas to the test here, a blind test. He's gonna hit shots with each of them and then try to guess um, the, you know, the shaft flex and the weight of each one. So Thomas, this will be an interesting one. I know you're a very sound player when it comes to feel. So you're probably gonna pick up these golf shafts and have a good idea, but you'll also get the advantage of TrackMan too after hitting shots. Uh, so this will be a fun one. Uh, I, I'm, this is gonna be a test of how dialed in Thomas Campbell really is. Yeah, I'm, I'm a little curious here. I don't, don't wanna get it wrong. I don't wanna look like a fool. So I'm definitely excited to test this and see if I can get this Right, so we've got a fun test. We've got five different weighted, different flex shafts, premium golf shafts too. So the Tor, mm -hmm. Tor AD IZ is probably one of the most played Tor shafts on Tor. Um, so I'm excited to kind of test this with the TaylorMade Sim Max head, nine degrees. The reason I chose this head, is a little bit easier for us to adjust with okay. TaylorMade with um, our all fit adapter. So just a little easier for me to change these premium shafts around. Gotcha. And so the five shafts that we'll be testing should kind of go, we'll start kind of in order from the most flexible to the least flexible. So just so you guys are aware of which ones are being tested and Thomas will not know the shafts that he's being hit or is hitting at each time. So um, from the most flexible to the least flexible, we've got the, uh, the IZ4 regular, kind of a, your senior flex type. Um, then an IZ5 regular, IZ5 stiff, IZ7 stiff, and then an IZ8 extra stiff. So kind of going up the ladder there from least flexible to most flexible and kind of uh, your you know, lightest to heaviest. So five shaft models for our test today. Uh, and then of course, we'll also see the differences probably on track man of why the shaft flex matters. And so uh, maybe golfers will take a look at their current clubs. Maybe they'll see, hey, I, my shaft is not right for my game. Maybe you want to trade those clubs in via secondswing.com or one of the store locations like Minnetonka and maybe get a golf club in your bag that is right for your swing. So, uh, Thomas, you ready to do this? Ready to do it. Okay, Thomas, you've got shaft number one. <laughs> you know, you're already kind of testing the flex <laughs> a little bit there. Um, what, I mean, what do you feel? Before hitting right now, what do you what would you guess before hitting any shots? This one feels like it's like on the lighter end of the range. Okay. Lighter end of the range. Yeah. Okay. All right. Maybe not the absolute lightest, but it it feels like it's. If I was gonna guess right off the bat, it feels like the maybe like the the R1 or the the like 50 gram stiff shaft or a maybe like a, a regular shaft. Okay. Yeah. All that's, right. That's my first impression. We'll we'll hit some shots and we'll see how they all okay. compare. All right, so, let's see yeah. it. Feels light, that's for sure. The takeaway was all over the place. You're, uh, you're swinging it pretty good. Super speed, it's higher. <laughs> You got some super swing cuts in, and now your your club speed is a little higher than usual. Or it could be the light golf shaft that too. No, that is a heavy shaft. That is 100 grams. It's not. <laughs> mm. 299 carry. Come on, it's it's rough. All right. Well, Thomas. We've got five shots. Um, I know you made some comments in between shots that you felt this was a lighter golf shaft. Um, it, and based on what I saw in the shots, you had a lot more, uh, it was more volatile in terms of the direction. Um, so you're telling me I'm right? I, <laughs> we'll find out at the end. <laughs> we'll, we'll find out at the yeah. end from all the guesses. But I mean, your, your dispersion here is wider, you know, more, well, this longer uh, east to west, uh, we'll say it that way, than usually from you. And I'll also note that your distance and your club speed a little higher than maybe used to seeing. So 
you may be onto something about the lighter golf shaft thing. All right. Well, I'm going to stick with right off the bat, still kind of maybe like the 5S. That's just okay. done. That's just, yeah, what okay. I'm at right now. Okay. All right. It might be right. It might be wrong. We'll get to the <laughs> uh, next golf shaft here. Okay. So Thomas, you've got the second shaft uh, that we're going to do for this blind test. And we'll, first, very first brief impression, what do you feel? I'm going to say more flexible than the shaft before. Okay. That's just off the bat. Okay. Yeah. So it could be, could be like the uh, the senior shaft, the like A flex shaft, or it could be like the regular shaft. Is okay. What I would guess. All right. Good. Hundred and forty-seven feet in the air. Feel light. I'm waiting for the uh, the eight X. <laughs> it's gonna feel like a pole. <laughs> <laughs> a little higher and a little spinnier. Wow, that is a straight ball. I'm liking all the numbers minus the height and the spin. Might be a little right. Well, Thomas, we've got some numbers here from both. The second shaft gave you more club speed, more spin, and a higher peak trajectory. So. I know you mentioned right away it felt maybe more flexible. Those numbers would indicate that, that could be true. Okay. I'm going to stick with my theory. It's either the lightest shaft of the five or the second lightest. That's probably my, my theory. Okay. All right. Yeah. We'll see if there's anything more flexible in this, but this is yeah. a little bit more flexible than the shaft before. That's my theory. Okay. All right. Okay. Well, let's get to the third shaft now on the test here. Okay. All right, Thomas, you got the third one there. What does this feel like? Now I'm lost. <laughs> it seems awfully similar to shaft shaft number one. Okay. That's, that's yeah, we'll, we'll hit some swings and see. <laughs> God, now I'm. All right. I can't even remember the, the weights on everything. All I know is one that. I may have purposefully tried to confuse you a little bit with the first three. <laughs> oh, that's a little lower. I'm going to be in trouble here. I don't know the difference between shaft one and shaft three right now. All right, well, Thomas. Are you still a little confused, or maybe do you have more of an idea after hitting five shots? <laughs> Picking up the other one? I don't know. These are awfully similar. Shop one and shop three is awfully similar so okay. far. I'm just going to sneak this <laughs> slightly more flexible than shop one. The shaft one is slightly more flexible? No, this is slightly more flexible than shaft one. Shaft okay. one right now is the stiffest shaft that we've tested. That's what I'm going to guess. Okay. So if it goes right now from lightest, it goes shaft two, three, then one right now. Okay. All That's right. That's my hypothesis. That's your hypothesis. All right. Well, this feels heavier. <laughs> as, you're, as you're putting on <laughs> shaft number four, attaching it to the club head, what uh, I, you said your first impression there was that it's a little heavier. It has to be. They are, they are in all light. <laughs> so, that's a good point. That's a good point. All right. Shaft number four. Supposed to guess right now, 7S. Supposed to guess right now. Okay. All right, five shots with shaft number four. 
um, wanted to just look at this briefly Let's see if you, there's anything you can take away from these numbers I think one thing club speed on, on the right there you can see maybe some differences but uh, you know maybe this that was the slowest swing speed you had so far with that one but uh, you still thinking maybe on the heavier side for that one heaviest one I've hit so far okay yeah well let's get to the final shaft here then we'll see how accurate you are okay so Thomas you've got the final golf shaft of the test uh, how does that feel compared to maybe the last one or I guess any of the last four I think I'm gonna retract my initial claim when I first picked up shaft four I feel like shaft four might now be the heaviest one okay yeah that's just my this one just felt just a little bit lighter than shaft four okay so. all right yep let's see. I'm gonna guess this is maybe 7s now. okay Good. Mm -hmm. Did that well. All right. Thomas, you've swung pretty aggressively 25 times now with the driver here. Um, you still feel, so you retract, you had an initial claim and you retracted it and said that actually the fourth shaft was the heaviest. Do you still feel that after those swings? I'm going to stick with it. Okay. Yep. Yep. Okay. I think shaft five was the second heaviest or second most least flexible shaft of them all. Okay. All right. I mean, well, I'm excited to, uh, yeah. to find this out because. Chef five goes in there. Yeah, I feel like I was fairly close, but okay. there's a couple that got me, I was a little confused at times, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah. Well, the nice thing is you get to look at the TrackMan data, and, and if that helps you out, or if you're gonna do this purely on feel, I, that might be the best way to do it too, but you can come over here, look at the data if you want. I'm gonna take the order with me. Okay. I'm gonna be like a game show host, and just go stand over there, and you can figure this out, and we'll see if you're right. Yeah, let's, uh, let's, let's see if, I'll take a look at club speed and spin, and I can, well, the nice thing with TrackMan is I can put them in order. Mm -hmm. I can put the, the numbers in order from one to five, see which mm -hmm. one maybe is the yeah. fastest. We'll find out. All right, we'll see. Okay. Okay, I mentioned I can uh, maybe make a couple of changements if I look at the differences in club speed. Yeah. So the nice thing with TrackMan is I can click up here and mm. rank yeah. them from uh, club speed through. So I'm going to stick with my initial claim that shaft four is the heaviest. Yeah. So shaft four was the IZ8X. IZ okay. So you've got that one. You're one for one there. Okay. Ding, ding, ding. So I'm safe there. Um, shaft two was, the, I'm going to stick with shaft two was the lightest. Yes, so shaft two was an IZ4 regular. Okay, so two off. for two there. So two for two. Okay, so it's interesting, I wanna just kinda touch on that. So spin rate with shaft two was actually the highest. And then if we scroll across over here to the height, nice thing there too, is it also was the highest mm -hmm. with regards to height. So general trends, kinda what we would, would kind of expect across the board. Now it's all player dependent, right. but that's the first thing I kinda noticed there right. is, yeah, so club speed. Shaft two was definitely the lightest one. Shaft four was definitely the, the heaviest. So I got mm -hmm. that right. Yeah. So we're two for two. Um, interesting that, that shaft two had the highest carry distance, even though it was the lightest of them all. Highest carry distance because it was spun a little more and actually, mm -hmm. go, actually it was the shortest distance. So more spin, more height. Yeah. Yeah, interesting there. Okay, uh, remind me of the order I have over there too. So I've got shaft, shaft Need to take a look at this. What's the next one? So that so, shaft two is on the left, right? Yep. You What's got, the next one? Right here, you have shaft three. Shaft three. That's this is where I was a little bit confused. Was no, hang on. I think shaft three is the regular, the next lightest shaft. Yes. So the shaft three is the IZ five regular. Okay. So yep. it would be the next lightest shaft. Yep. In the order here. Okay. So, so perfect. Ding ding ding. There, three for three. There. Three for three. Okay. Yeah. So shaft one. 
was the shaft that confused me the most. That's why I was stuck between the two of them, but I'm gonna stick with the remain with, with the order there. I'm gonna stick with that same order across the board where shaft shaft one is the five S. Okay. And shaft five is the seven S. That would be correct. So you've got it, you've nailed it. So to clarify again, so Thomas got five for five on these. Um, so the shaft number one is the IZ5S, okay? Shaft two is the IZ4 regular. Shaft three is the IZ5 regular. Shaft four is the IZ8 extra stiff. And then the final shaft Thomas hit was the IZ7 stiff. So kind of threw in, you know, a couple of the same uh, weights with a couple of IZ5s, also a couple of regular flex, a couple of stiff flex. So there was a kind of a mix of, uh, uh, you know, a few things, and I kind of threw them all in, a, in order that I was hoping to confuse it, and I kind of did, but you ended up getting them all right. So, um, but I think we can look at the numbers here yeah. too, and you can see the differences that the wrong shaft flex can have on your driver performance. And then, I mean, of course, this goes throughout the bag too, and there's been We've done a bunch of videos on shaft flex and how that matters, but this is just another example of why getting fit for the right one is important. Yeah, so let's take a look at numbers and see if there's any kind of general trends. So we already had the, in order, club speed. The lightest golf shaft generated the highest amount of club speed, where the heaviest golf mm -hmm. shaft generated the least amount of club speed there. The lightest shaft generated the most spin, where the heaviest, shaft was not quite the lowest spin shaft five was but we noticed those two were the, mm -hmm. the shafts that were the two heaviest essentially yep. so we're pretty close with regards to numbers there now this isn't gonna be perfect science because there's so many other variables that go into effect no i'm fairly robotic but where i catch on the club face if i leave the club face open on right. one shot turn one over it's gonna definitely change a, a lot there as well um the highest launching shaft was the lighter shaft We'll notice the highest launching shaft. What actually wasn't the heavier shaft? It was actually the other. The other three were a little bit lower with regards to launch there too. Mm -hmm. So for sure, hit location, club speed, how I deliver the club to the ball is going to be a huge influence there as well. We we'll notice my attack angle. Attack angle changes a little bit, um, but we're talking point numbers right. here. Right. That, that, that's like a minuscule difference. Yeah. Um, you'll see bigger differences throughout some maybe the other data points here. Yeah, um, so it's interesting that the shaft two, the lighter shaft, that was probably the, the worst fit for me. But yeah. What's actually interesting is these other shafts all gave pretty good numbers. We'll notice the total distance here ranged from uh, 314 to 317.5. So we're talking three and a half yards. Mm -hmm. This shaft matters but it can definitely be overthought at times for sure. Which that's probably why at second swing, you know, we like to fit the club head first and then go into the shaft flex as the next most important part of the fitting process because fitting for the club head uh, is the most important thing. And we should mention too, you were playing the Sim Max for this test, which I know you have been playing a kind of a low spin uh, driver head in the past and I wouldn't say Sim Max qualifies for that. It's not, the, it's not the lowest yeah. spinning shaft yeah. club head out there for sure. Right. Um, I want to touch on dispersion because this is where it gets kind of interesting. So we can notice the heaviest shaft, so shaft four, the blue circle, kind of in the middle. So mm -hmm. we'll notice maybe not as far left and far right with, my, with my, my misses there. So the heavier shaft may feel a little bit straighter. Shaft five, that was the 7S, correct? Mm -hmm. So shaft five, we'll notice I had four over here to the left and one a little bit that I left the face open on. I like to draw the ball a little bit, and that shaft is probably the closest shaft to what I play with yeah. regards to this test. I play a 65 gram extra stiff golf okay. shaft. That 8X was maybe just a little bit too heavy for me. Um, so it generated my kind of bull flight that I like there as well. Uh, if we look at other numbers, so we look at shaft one, this white circle, a little bit larger. Shaft three, you can see just kind of slow general trends with regards yeah. to dispersion there as well. So the two shafts that fit me best kind of were the, had the smallest dispersion pattern. Yeah, 
Yep, yeah, that's what uh, I mean. That's what you're going for with the shaft. Is kind of dialing in after you get the club head, kind of dial in the dispersion just a little bit more to what will fit you the best. And so, you know, I think that's kind of the the next part here for golfers out there that you know are maybe realizing now that their shaft isn't quite fit for them, whether it's in the driver, whether it's in the irons. You're gonna either you know trade those clubs in at Second Swing via SecondSwing.com or in the stores, and you know talk to one of our team members and they're going to get them set up with the shaft flex that's right for them and then and I, it also could just be a, a whole new club fitting get the club head first and then dive into the shaft but either way these things matter and they will change the performance on the golf course yeah this this was uh it was a really fun test to kind of yeah. i'm glad i got it right because <laughs> i didn't want to look like a fool so i'm glad, I'm glad i got it i'm glad i got it right i could definitely notice the difference from the lightest to the heaviest mm -hmm. shaft but in between there were definitely some challenges that right. I'm glad I got it correct, but it was a little bit more challenging than I thought it might have been. So. Yeah, I mean, you were pretty solid right off the bat with the feel, just by feeling the, sh the, the golf shots right away. But then you kind of looked into the numbers and it sort of confirmed what you were, uh, your instincts told you right away. But uh, golfers, if you like this video, give us a like on YouTube and subscribe to our channel. These type of fun tests, we like to put them together for you. So um, subscribe to our channel. We got a lot more coming for you here in the future. Uh, Thomas, thanks for putting together 25 solid driver swings and uh, you know playing along with the test with us. Yep, not a problem.